Hey guys, welcome back to Rudder Renovation, where today we're going to be learning how to replace the burners and the drip pan in this gas grill. Here we go. First, you can start by removing the grill grates and burner covers. As you can see here, all three of these burners are completely rusted through. There's a lot of flame that comes out of just one section of this. These holes really don't have any flames coming out of them anymore. And the bottom drip pan is completely rusted out, which is a hazard, especially with a propane tank underneath. So we're gonna take all three of these out and we're gonna replace the drip pan. All right, to start this process, you're just going to turn and lift them out of place. Yours might be connected here on the side. All right, there's four screws, two on the side and two on this side, that we're gonna unscrew and remove the rest of this drip pan and then fold it together and get it out. All right, now that we unscrewed that side and drilled these off because it was so rusted, we're gonna go ahead and remove the rest of the drip pan. For the replacement drip pan, I got this adjustable pan offline. Some people complained about it being too flimsy, but to me, it feels sturdy enough, especially just to catch some grease. So I'm gonna uh, install it, I'll go up underneath and then it will stretch it out to its full length and then be able to uh, support itself on the sides of the grill. All right, I just wanted to show y'all where the burners are gonna be going. There's these valves right here, which look fine. They're not rusted at all. And there's three of them on this particular grill and they just slip right over. There's no lock-in or anything, just slips right over. And these are the electrodes uh, for the auto light, which <clears throat> mine are pretty rusted. I could replace these, but I'm so used to lighting it with a lighter. I'm just gonna continue to do so. All right. Just a note, only one side of the burner has holes. And on this particular grill, it goes up on the top and you can see where these used to clip in, but they're so rusted out, um, I don't have anything to clip to. You could use angle iron here and then drill holes, new holes and put clips on there. But this grill stays stationary, doesn't really move, so I'm not really worried about it. All right, just to make sure these work, we'll go ahead and light them up. All right, they're all lit. I know I said I wasn't gonna do anything with this back lip, but I have already used this as you can see, and this one has fallen down twice. So I'm gonna use a piece of angle iron and cut it to length. That way it has something to rest on. After I had my angle iron cut to length, I marked the spots where the burners were located as well as where I wanted to attach it to the grill. And then I drilled my holes in those locations. Instead of using pins and clips like it originally had, I used long bolts to hold them in place. Once the burners were stationary and I knew they were lighting correctly, I replaced the burner covers and grates. Can't forget to put our drip pan in. After installing the new burner covers, I used steel wool to help clean everything as well as remove some rust spots and then I was done. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, comment below. If you like it, like it. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace and God bless.